What's up guys, I could do 1940 here. We are back with the Stanley Cup champion, New York Islanders. It took uh, it took seven years, but the New York Islanders have won the Stanley Cup. In the 2020-21 season, uh, I actually want to check this. <laughs> Just to make sure we are seven years in. I haven't done this in a few few uh, few days. Yeah, our sev seventh year in, we won the Cup. You know, after a first round egg or one playoff, uh, you know, in seven years we only missed the playoffs once. One first round exit, two second round exits, a third round exit, a Stanley Cup loss, and a uh, Stanley Cup championship. And actually, it wasn't our best regular season either. It was only our uh, what fourth best regular season? Yeah, I mean, goals for wasn't our best. Actually, it was it was one of our worst goals against. It was one of our best goals against seasons. I think that was our biggest thing this year. Surprisingly, it was our goals against. And GM, GM reputation, I didn't even notice it's at 100. So yeah, in the last episode, obviously, we won the Stanley Cup. And, uh, you know, it, it was a, a great series against the Edmonton Oilers. We, um, you know, it had to go to seven. But uh, we were able to clinch it. And, you know, we went up three to one. It, it, it was looking pretty good for us, you know. We won four to two. That was a close loss right there, and then um, two, you know, pretty convincing wins. And then uh, we just got hammered. Eleven goals against in two games. All of a sudden, our backs were against the wall, but we came through with a five-two win. Conn Smythe Trophy winner Johnny Goudreau, and uh, runner-up Anthony Danner. What a beast that guy was in the playoffs. But um, it looks like uh, Eric Stahl retired. Yeah, I, I don't even remember the retirements in the last video. That was uh, that was days ago. But uh, I'm going to try to get back into this now. Try to uh, refresh my memory here a little bit. We have close to $9 million in cap space before we even hit the resign stage. So that's good. We're a nice young team. A lot of our better players don't even have their NHL contracts yet. But uh, let's just head into the draft. Yeah, we don't have a first-round pick. We haven't for years now, I don't think. We just keep trading them away. Uh, let's just look at what we uh, what we have again, just try to refresh my memory. Uh, yep, we have Alpern coming up. Yeah, well, there's nothing really we need to trade. Strom, Sherback. Yep, there's uh, really nothing we need to uh, to trade here. Kabor Soleil. This guy, hopefully he gets better. Gabriel Kabor Soleil. What was he? He was the 29th overall pick. First round pick in uh, 2017. Did I just say 29th overall? Yeah. First round pick in 27. I thought it said 29th round there for, for a second. But, um, yeah, 29th overall in 2017. 81 overall, 22 years old. Hopefully he gets uh, a big jump in the offseason. He, he could actually play center. He, he doesn't have horrible face-offs. But, yeah, uh, overall our team is uh, it's looking good. We don't need to trade anybody. We don't have any... You know, old veterans that we need to get rid of. We'll actually check out the top three. So Winnipeg, Chicago, and uh, looks like Dick went third overall. All right, we'll check that out. Um, so Winnipeg, Chicago, and San Jose. Actually, do we have a second round pick? No. We don't have any draft picks, man. We won the Stanley Cup. We don't need draft picks. Just in the rest. Winnipeg, Chicago, San Jose. It looks like Winnipeg actually won the lottery at third overall. Yeah, the Edmonton Oilers, the way that they did it. So, all right, so let's just jump into this real quick so I don't forget. Winnipeg, Chicago, San Jose. So let's go over to the Winnipeg Jets. Who do they get? Our rookie skaters. Uh, Brigley, center, two-way four. Wow, he's actually already 75 overall. Four and a half stars. Yeah, he's pretty good. He's pretty good. 74 in the faceoffs already, so he is going to be a good center for them. Yeah, not a bad, uh, not a bad young player there for uh, the Winnipeg Jets. What does their team look like for the future? Actually, I want to check this out. Overall wise, they still have Mark Scheifele, Andrew Ladd. Ladd's gotten older; they should try to trade him. Uh, actually, no, they have to re-sign him, but sign him and then trade him. That's what they have to do. Little's getting older for Leak. Yeah, they have an old team there in Winnipeg. They really haven't made many trades at all. You know, the young guns really haven't gotten much better either. They have this guy, uh, Julian Gauthier. Looks like he's going to get good. Oh, uh, there's this guy, Mike Boy. Yes, yeah, so they've been, uh, or Boyer. They, they've been bringing in some good prospects. Jacques Pottier. 
Otta, Bear, this Bear guy. Yeah, he was another center two-way forward. So they have two center two-way forwards of the future. Nicholas Patan didn't get very good. Yeah, so they've got some good young talent coming up, but overall they are a, a pretty old team. But uh, now going to Chicago. I actually don't remember the name that I saw for them. So I'm going to have to try to find it. Oh, is it this guy, Engel? Ken Engel? Yeah, second overall. Wow, he's actually better, it looks like, at least overall-wise. 78 overall, center playmaker, number 50. That's an interesting I don't even think I've ever seen a number 50. At least not, like, maybe, like, a rookie coming into the league use number 50 for, like, a day. But, like, I haven't... Other than, like, goaltenders like a Corey Crawford, I don't think I've seen, like, a forward wear number 50. We have four and a half star, 19 years old. Already, again, 74 for face-offs. 86 passing already. 85 offensive awareness. Yeah, looks pretty good. Pretty good for a second overall pick. Still got Jonathan Taves and Patrick Kane. Ryan O'Reilly on that team. Runblad. And then they have Michael Del Call. Never turned out. Teravainen, 82. Yeah, so it looks like their young guns, at least not yet, have gotten much better. Um... Yeah, and then the San Jose Sharks at number three. Where is this guy? Damian Dick. <laughs> oh, man, I would have loved to draft this guy. <laughs> I kind of want to face uh, the San Jose Sharks in the playoffs. We can't. They're in separate conferences. But uh, I've never seen this guy before, actually. But a uh, two-way defenseman. He looks pretty solid, 79 overall. So, yeah, all three of the top three picks were around, like, 78. 79 overall, 19 years old, with uh, pretty well-rounded stats. You know, should only take them a couple of years to uh, to really be ready. Maybe even after this year, if they get good enough jumps. But uh, Damian Dick will uh, have to watch out for how good he gets in the future. <laughs> but um, yeah, so let's move up to the resign stage. In this video, we'll just go through the entire off season. I don't think there's much that we need to. Uh, um, you know, deliberate, you know, I don't think there, even if there is a stud in free agency, I'm just going to overlook that. Um, you know, unless we have to drop somebody here from our team uh, and fill the hole. I don't think we'll have to do that, though. Alright, so, uh, let's just get the guys out of the way that we don't want to sign. Russell Maxwell, center playmaker. Uh, do we want this guy? No, we don't. He's nothing... He's nothing special. I mean, he could help out the AHL team, but that doesn't really mean much to me at this point. Uh, Evan Poli, Poli, I think. Uh, nah, even if even if it gets a jump, no, he's not good enough. Three and a half red. No, I'm just gonna let him go. I'm just gonna let him go. I want to free some uh, some roster space, save some cap. He's a grinder. Three and a half star grinder. He could be good, but no, nah, Audette. Nope. Red Star isn't very convincing to me. Not this guy, no. Sedekov, get out of here. Um, Evans, nope. Irving. Um, Duchesne. Anybody else? Nope. Okay. Three and a half star unless he's a grinder. No, Evan Beckett, he's not going to get good. Hankinson. If it's like a three and a half star grinder or enforcer, I'll sign them, but otherwise, they're not going to get much better. Oh, look at that. Manny Heatley, 87 overall. Yeah, hopefully, um, hopefully he puts him some better numbers next year, but yeah, let's get this guy. Let's get the, this guy's the future of our team, pretty much. At least part of it. Uh, yeah, we'll get him on a three year deal. Bring him up to, or no. Let's get him. Let's put him on a four-year deal, get him up to he's 26, and then give him his big, uh, his big contract. I think we can, uh, I think we can bring him down to, like, six. Can we bring him down to six? I think we could. Uh, maybe we could bring him down even lower, but, you know, I'll, I'll give him six mil. Yeah, he's gonna be, a uh, top six forward of the future. Uh, top, yeah, top six forward. Maybe even top liner if he, uh, Gets even better than Tyler Toffoli, but he isn't a sniper like Toffoli is, so we'll see about that. Oleg Kapitanov definitely have to bring this guy back. This guy's amazing. Um, five years, yep, that'll bring him up to he's 30. Yeah, that's good for me. Uh, 
5.3 for five years, I can do that Kapitanov. What's it on? It's like 11 mil. We, are, we actually are getting pretty tight in cap. But that's alright. We don't have many players to sign. Uh, okay, I thought I was going to see like John Gibson uh, needed to be signed. But no, we got him locked up. Yep, and then Frederick Anderson we have for another year. He's a very good backup for us. If we do need the cap space, uh, I can drop. And I might actually consider doing that right now. Uh, just trading Frederick Anderson or like right before, right uh, right at the start of free agency. I mean, he's a great backup. Don't get me wrong. I mean, actually, no, no, no. Now I want to keep Frederick Anderson. He's a good backup. Last year, I think is the last year. Next year, I think is the year that we we may drop him. I say it, it's a lot of cap going into a backup goalie. Apula. No, we have Johnston. Soderstrom. Do we need Kevin Poole? If he wants a two-way deal, I'll keep him. Do you want a two-way deal? No, he wants one way. I can't. I can't accept you pulling. You have to release Shea. He was here for seven years. We're gonna have to let him go. Um, Casey Sezikis, how much do you want? Please don't want like five. Three point four. Okay, good. Perfect for a third line center. Uh, three years. I'll bring him until he's thirty-three. That's fine. Give him three point. 3.15, nah, I think, uh, 3.2, I think, yeah, I'll take that. 3.2 for three years, there you go, Sezikis. Uh, Bolesky and Callahan will hold off on for now. But yeah, so we're pretty much able to afford everybody. And we do have some players that in the future, if we need cap space, we can drop them off. Remember, I think, uh, what's his name, Sherback is making like 8 point something, isn't he? I'm not sure when his contract actually expires. We can actually look at that. If, if his contract expires after this upcoming season, then that's perfect. Because then we could bring him down to like 7. Or maybe even less than that, depending on what his overall is. Man, this is taking a while. Come on. There we go. Heatley, Zizekas, and Kapitanov. We have four million dollars to sign the. Oh, I actually forgot about uh, Conroy. We don't actually let go of Conroy. Yeah, he, he's, he actually doesn't have the greatest shot. It's a powerful shot, but not an accurate one. Doesn't have very good puck skills. Only 77 offensive runner. Yeah, we can let this guy go. He didn't turn out to be anything. He was stuck at 80 overall for a long time. Yeah, let go of Dakota Conroy. Even if he got a jump, I mean, we, we're just going to. We, we would just end up trading him anyway. Um, so Callahan, he's down to three stars. 84, nah, his, his stats, they're pretty low now. Now 12 points, he was a minus 9, 77 penalty minutes. In the playoffs, three points, minus 8, now we can let go of Ryan Callahan. Actually, if he, if he wants a two-way deal, now he wants a one-way, he wants, like, I'll have to offer him, like, 1.6. Now we can, we can drop Callahan, we can find a better guy in free agency. Thank you, Ryan Callahan. You won the Stanley Cup with us, but uh, we can we can find somebody better. Matt Bolesky, uh, he's decent, but he is dropping for sure. He's not the greatest anymore. Three and a half star potential, with only three points, minus one. He didn't even play much for us in the play. He played in the playoffs, but he was minus nine. Uh, how much does he want? If he wants a two way deal, I'll take him. But if he wants a one way. Then I'll look for another guy. Yeah, he wants a one way. I mean, I can bring him down to a pretty low salary, but uh, we could find better fourth liners in free agency. So I'm going to let go of Matt Bolesky. Again, thank you for your services. We won the Stanley Cup with you. But, uh, but yeah, Sherback is making 7.5 ish um, for the next year. He'll probably. We'll, we'll probably be able to bring him down to like 6.5 after this year, so that'll be perfect. Um, I got to get yep, Strom. Six mil uh, to fully. I mean, there's not much room for us to dump cap. I mean, Hamannick, um, you know, he's only. Actually, he's. No, he's not a top four for us, right? Yeah, Reinhardt played the top four. Yeah, so I mean, Hamannick, his contract is up next year. Hopefully, he wants a lot less, and if he doesn't, then who knows? Maybe he's even a, even a trading asset uh, just because of his salary. Same thing with like Zach Smith, um, and hopefully uh, Rocky Mayer. Who knows this guy can jump up? Halpern, Gabor Soleil, Danner. I don't. Nobody can forget about Danner. We have to sign him next year as well. So if he if he jumps to like 80, 88 or something like that, 87, 88, 
At least he wants some money. We're gonna have to drop somebody, one of our top six forwards. Yeah, we do, we do have quite a few prospects down here, don't we? Yeah, we really do. But uh, yeah, so forwards overall wise, our top six right now is Tavares, Toffoli, Sherback, Strom, Goudreau. Down. I mean, we have so many forwards. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. There. Yeah, we we could we could use two fourth liners, uh, just in case. I mean, uh, it's so tough now because we have so many good players. I, I don't want to just I don't want to trade anybody. You know, Tyler Toffoli has been a very consistent goal scorer. We just won the Stanley Cup. Well, I wouldn't want to change anything, but I don't want to. I I don't want anybody to get worse, but. You know, even if they get worse and stick at like 84, 85, they're still the same player. They'll still have the same like general stats. You know, there's no point in us trading like a uh, a Toffoli for a a worse player and a pick or something like that. There's just no point. That's just a waste. You know, I I never like trading for for less unless I'm rebuilding, and we're not doing that. So, you know, it's really it's a toss up. But, um, but yeah, so what we're looking for in free agency was 4.4 mil. That's definitely enough for us to get, like, two fourth-line grinders, which would be perfect. Um, I'll try to revamp that third line yet again, or fourth line. Look at our average age, 25.6. Very nice. Only 30 players under contract. We have plenty of room. All right, let's look at the free agency. All right, so it looks like Evgeny Kuznetsov is available, 29-year-old sniper. Looks like uh, Washington couldn't afford him or just didn't want him anymore. I don't know. We have very good offensive stats. Yeah, pretty good. Consistent 50-ish point guy. Doesn't score many goals for a sniper, but... Yeah, Matt Niskanen as well. So, yeah, the Capitals, they're, they're dropping some guys off. Dalton Thrower. Um, yeah, these guys are all going to want a lot. Where, where's their asking price? Yeah, I mean, 6 mil. Uh, Jamie McGinn, what is he? You know, he's a two-way forward. I mean, he wouldn't be bad, but I mean, three-star potential, he, he could get worse. Kind of like Callahan did throughout the year. Korpikoski, not three-star potential. Yours to catch. Now he's a playmaker. Fox, two-way forward. Nope, sniper, two-way forward. Curse McKenzie, how good is he? Now, only 82 defensive awareness. Dunda, ooh, look at this. This is kind of perfect. Um... He's actually, he doesn't have the greatest defensive awareness, which I don't like. But I like how he's a three and a half star grinder, six foot five. 94 body checking. 86 strength. Yeah, we'll sign this guy. Uh, I think I think we can sign him. Sutter, Stanton. 86 defensive awareness. That would be good if we were looking for death. Depth. Death. Looking for death. I'll depth. Uh, Nathan Horton put him on the fourth line. No, we're not going to do that. Jaskin, McMillan, the little Mick. No, we're not going to get him. Uh, only two and a half star potential. I was done to, oops, I went all the way up. Galliardi now, all these guys are older guys. Matthias, I right, switched to forwards here. Uh, you know what, let's search for defensive awareness. Instead of wasting, uh, Wasting time. Uh, where is it? Oh, there it is. Okay. 77. I'm looking for a good overall, too. Who's this guy? Two-way forward? No. I want him to have, like, good overall stats, too. Like, this guy, Sandlack. Not two and a half star potential. Uh, two-way forward. Two-way forward, but how good... Uh, it, it, it really is hard. Try to find guys with a well-rounded category. You know, we, we'll, I think we'll just go with Jamie McGinn, to be honest. No, nah, man, he wants three mil. He wants, he wants over four mil for one year. Get out of here, McGinn. Travis Zajac. Furland. How much does uh, Furland want? If four, nice. Man, this is hard. I want to pick the right players. Harder than I thought. Um. Hmm. 
Sean Mathias, only three star potential. Nah, he's only got 81 defensive awareness. That's the thing, Dunda. Yeah, Dunda's the guy I wanted to sign. Yo, one way deal. Other teams interested in the Rangers. Maybe they drafted him. Who knows? I get him at three years at one point. Actually, hold on a second. Hold on. I'm looking at all. Is he UFA? Uh, after all that, he wasn't even a UFA. Uh, at least I don't think he was. Hold on. Uh, wait, he was actually down here, wasn't he? De Whoa, wait a second. Now, now, I'm, now I'm seeing like different players. Oh man, I'm just, I'm just all, all over the place right now. Um, Brett Ritchie, power forward. Jensen, yeah, now I'm seeing some new names. Where do these guys come from? Garofal, no. Hanowski, nah. Conroy Holl Patrick Holland, no. Dale Weiss, he's only three star potential, but uh, I like Dale Weiss. Perfect, perfect fourth liner. Two years now. I'm gonna stick to uh to one year. I can give him the the two point. Two point one five or no. Two point oh five for one year. Yeah, it didn't say there were any other teams interested, so I'll just give him that much. Hallis Chuck. Yeah, I'd go with Hallis Chuck. It looks pretty good. Pretty uh, well rounded. Is there anybody else? Jordan Nolan. Uh, Karat Ooh. Yeah, Jordan Nolan. That's actually perfect. I don't know if they would afford afford both of them though. I'll try it. No, I think I think it will. Uh, two point two point one five for Jordan Nolan. That'd be perfect if I can get those two guys. All right now, let's just search by potential. For everybody, I don't think. Whoa. Okay. Yeah, there are a lot of potential guys, but none of them are. None of them are very good. They're all kind of like Conroy was. Except for this guy, Cutlick. What was this guy? Third round pick for Calgary. Nah, I'm not. I'm not gonna get him. All right, goalies overall. Uh, Martin Jones is the best, so somebody's gonna get a pretty good backup. Potential wise, yep, same thing. The four star, 21 year old. What was this guy like a top 20 pick or something like that? No, second round pick, 2019. Eric Bradford just left a free agency. But yeah, that's all we're gonna go after. Dale Weiss and Jordan Nolan. Hopefully, we can get them both on the team. And uh, then we're good to go for next year. We can uh, see how good everyone is now. You know, the uh, the player jumps. Okay, so we got Jordan Nolan and Dale Weiss. Perfect. So uh, we, uh, we got rid of Matt Bolesky and Ryan Callahan and brought in Jordan Nolan and Dale Weiss. Perfect. Welcome to the Islanders. So we still have 2.1 million cap space available. Perfect. Yeah, Corey Crawford, 84 overall is available. Very interesting. I, I didn't see him before. I, I don't know what's up with the free agent on this man. It's all over the place. So, uh, Corey Crawford looks like he's getting older at this point. Chicago, instead of trading him, just let him go to free agency. Alright, so hopefully Danner... Uh, now, now we're in a tough spot, because if Danner and Heatley both get up to, like, 90 overalls, then I would be tempted to trade somebody in the top six, just because we're not going to have enough room for them all. You know, and that's something we have to, to think about. You know, do we stack the team, you know, stack the top nine, like we did last year? Or do we, uh, or do we get the players that fit the roles better? You know, get rid of some salary cap. Maybe even get another uh, top defenseman. I think that would actually be a smart decision. You know, trade a top line for you know a, a one of our, our better forwards that doesn't that don't fit if they don't fit, and get a uh, you know a top four maybe even top two defenseman, and uh, 
you know, third line forward or something like that. Well, we'll see. We'll see how uh, the player growth turns out here as we enter year eight. So, including this year, we only have three years left with the New York Islanders. If we can go on a, uh, another dynasty, we have the perfect amount of time to go on another four year dynasty, but uh, it's three more cups we have to win. <laughs> it's a lot of work. But uh, this team can definitely do it. You're entering. Year 8 as GM of the New York Islanders. Time has flown by. Since this is your last year, I'll be paying attention to what you do this year when considering a renewal. I want you to get 46 wins a season. That sounds uh, like a reasonable goal. Looks like uh, right there on the uh, the left, Evgeny Malkin is being shopped around by Pittsburgh. Very interesting. Forwards. Uh, top 10. Yeah, why not? Go to, the, uh, go to Finland. Gym Tracker, can't do any of that yet. Alright, so contracts, let's see who got the jumps. Alright, so Aaron Eckblatt, he actually jumped. Yeah, he went up from an 89 to a 90. I thought he was, uh, I thought he was capped off, but now he's still getting better. Wow, look at that, look at that defensive category, 95 shot blocking, 93 stick checking. I wish his defensive awareness was like 90, but it doesn't have to be. 87 passing, pretty good shot, great physical category, great skater. Yeah, Aaron Eckblad. Very nice. Very nice growth there. Manny Heatley, yeah, see what I mean? 89 overall. I don't want to play this guy in the third line, but that means somebody in our top six has to come out. 93 passing, 89 hand-eye, 93 deking, 85 offensive awareness. I wish that was higher. Look at his defensive category, actually. 87 defensive awareness, 94 shot blocking, 86 stick checking, 78 face-offs. So he, he could actually take face-offs. A very good shot. Good skater, 94 acceleration, 88 agility, 88 speed. And a uh, pretty good physical category, 91 strength, 85 body checking. Yes, yeah, so Manny Heatley, very solid player. Tyler Toffoli, 88. Sherback, 86. Look, he, looks like he's capped off there. Uh, let's just let's just pay attention to forwards right now. Uh, Strom, 86. Uh, Goudreau, 86. Looks like um, he or not Heatley. Uh, Danner's in the minors, so we'll see how good he is in a minute. Zizekas, 84. You have all these guys the same. So it looks like Mayer. He's taking his time. He's taking his time. The uh, sixth overall pick of the Anaheim Ducks in 2020. Yeah, he's uh. Pretty good offensively, but his defense, physical, and even skating, those can get better. Yeah, he, he's still, hopefully by year 9 or 10, he'll be uh, he'll be good. But, uh, we'll, we'll see. Maybe he's even a trading asset. Who knows? If we want to go and get that top two defenseman, he might be the guy to go. Who knows? Uh, Nolan, Smith, Weiss, yeah, all these guys. So uh, Weiss actually did drop down to the two-and-a-half star potential, so we'll have to keep an eye on that just in case he gets too much worse. But he still has his defense and physical categories, so as long as those two stay pretty good and his skating as well, as long as those three bottom categories stay decent, um, he still fits in that line. Defensively, Ekblad, yep, Ekman Larson, Ryan Hart, uh, does he still have his uh, stats? Yep, 87 defensive awareness. Yeah, he's great defensively. Offensively, pretty good. Yep, ev everywhere is uh, pretty solid for Griffin Ryan Hart. Uh, Kapitanov, yeah, he, he pretty much capped off at 84. Looks like Manny Halpern, he got up to 84 overall. 85 defensive war. He's still not the greatest defensively. It's really his uh, 92 passing that really brings him up, and his 91 aggressiveness and 88 strength, and then his skating. Yeah, there are those individual categories that really bring him up, but he is still a top six defenseman for me. Uh, he can uh, he can play there with um, Travis Hamonic. The goaltender Gibson 89, Anderson 84. Now let's look at uh, the minors. All right, so Danner jumped up to an 86, so he only jumped up by one. But remember last year, and in 85 he was already a beast for us. So you know, I expect uh, nothing less out of Danner this year. I mean, regular season, his rookie year, 60 points, 30 goals, 
playoffs, 21 points in 25 games, 12 goals. And this guy was just absolutely amazing. Five power play goals, 13.3 shooting percentage. The guy was amazing. But again, I don't want to play him on the third line. So we'll have to see Gabor Soleil. So we didn't jump up too much, but I mean, he could replace Dale Weiss if we need him to. So that's actually kind of perfect. Uh, and then no one else really got a huge jump. Defense, I don't think we, yeah, we don't really have anybody down here for defense. On uh, the goaltending, no, no, none of these guys got a big jump. It's not like they can play backup for us or anything. So here we go, that is everybody that jumped. Um, so now I'll just kind of show you guys the lines and you guys can, uh, actually first I'll look at uh, trade negotiations just to show you guys the, uh, the trade value of everyone. Oops, I backed out. Uh, oops, put two arrows on the block. Didn't mean to do that. Um, yeah, see, we have all these guys, but see, like, Heatley, Halpern, they're up there, but Toffoli, his trade value's up there. Uh, Dan, see, like, Mayor, actually, his trade value's not as much as I thought it'd be, but Mayor, you know, put him on the block. Let me just try to look for, uh, for something real quick. Um, if I can find a guy who's, like, good overall. Maybe not even a top two, you know, maybe a guy like, um, I know, it wouldn't be an offensive defenseman because we already have Capitano there. Um, what's uh, Hamilton's offensive? What's his Martin guy like? Martin, defensive defenseman, perfect example. Perfect example. If we were to go for a guy like Colton Martin, you know, he, he's top four defenseman. He'd fit perfectly on that second line with, like, Capitano. Maybe you tie in, like, um, you know, Travis Hamanick or, um, or Griffin Reinhardt. And a pick or something for, for more. Actually, do I might actually want to make a deal with this team right here. I mean, not saying that I would, but like, do they have a like a third liner? This is O'Connor guy. Uh, two way forward. Nah, he's not the greatest defensively. I hate those players where their overalls are just jacked up based on like some stupid like skating category. Strong. 21 years old. Who's this guy? Way forward. Uh, I kind of want a guy who's already like in his prime. Oops, whoa, what did I just do? Uh, centers. Cone? Price? One of these two guys? Uh, how about Price? Another center playmaker? No, uh, you know you know what I mean. Something like this. Like a, a solid like 87 defensive defenseman. Um, you know, if we really want to to bolster our team, you know, you know, ship out a forward or, or two or something like that. But uh, I'll, I'll just quick show the lines because this video is going pretty long. Um, I'll show you guys the lines real quick. Uh, so best lines. This is what the lines are, are like. You know, second or first line. I want uh, Sherback playing up there. Uh, Goudreau did very well in that second line. So this is how we had it pretty much last year in the playoffs. And we had, oh, oops, I forgot roster moves. We have to bring up uh, Danner. And send down Mayor. And that's it. And then defensively, we're fine, right? Four, five, six, yep. Actually, yeah, see that? Halpern still listed as a top six. Hamnick's actually a top four, but... And that's why he's making so much money. But uh, now we go best lines. This is pretty much how we had it last year. And then Danner was over here. And then Gaudreau was there. That was our top six. But see, Heatley, 89 overall on our third line. You know, that really doesn't... That doesn't work for me. Uh, fourth line is perfect. You don't have to mess with that. Who is better face -offs, Nolan or... Oh, pfft. Nolan has crap face-offs. Yeah, Smith. Yep, Zach Smith, 83 for face-offs. Still got that great defensive category. So this is how the lines are right now. But see, it's just... I don't like how Heatley is just down there. Um, you know, maybe... And I don't want to do this because then we lose the sniper. But maybe have, like, Heatley up here. And then trade to Foley for another guy. To go on that third line. As well as a pick or something like that. Or maybe tie to Foley and... Um, Mayer... Or to Foley and Reinhardt for that defenseman and a forward. But, I mean, look at him. 
It's 66 points, 71 points, 68 points. You know, constant 65 to 70 point seasons, constant 20 to 30 goal seasons. In the playoffs, 17 points in 25 games. He was a constant plus player. You know, why would I? Why would I trade him? You know, it's ah, uh, it's 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 really tough. But uh, but yeah, let, let me know in the comments what you guys think I should do. Um, you know, I'll, I'll take them in, in the comments into consideration. But uh, you know, uh, this is gonna require quite a bit of thinking. Is that how we had it last year? I think it is. I'll just leave it like that. But um, but yeah. So again, let me know. You guys, let me know how you think we should uh, assort the lines, and um, you know maybe what trades we should make, and uh, I'll see you guys in the next episode.